the angels in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the angel of the lord declared unto mary and she conceived of the holy spirit hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen behold the handmaid of the lord be it done unto me according to thy word Hail Mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray o fourth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel May by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord amen May the divine assistance remain always with us amen May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit amen Kindly dance. All over the world, the spirit is moving. All over the world, as the prophet said it would be. All over the world, there's a mighty revelation of the glory. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father. We offer this mass for the soul of Henry de Souza. We also pray for all those celebrating the birthdays and anniversaries today. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God. and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and 
My dear brothers and sisters, in today's first reading from the book of Daniel, we hear the story of Susanna, a woman who was accused of breaking the sixth commandment, that is, committing adultery. She was a righteous woman, but she was accused falsely, and yet God, through prophet Daniel, comes to her defense. She was a righteous woman, and we may think, Yes, she was right, and therefore God comes to our defense. But however, if we go to the gospel, today's gospel, we see a woman who is rightly caught in the act of adultery is brought again to God, that is to Jesus. And even in this case, where she is really caught in the act of adultery, God defends her. It is not only the righteous that God defends, but God also defends one who is a sinner. And that's why we again and again hear in the season of Lent, Ezekiel chapter 33 verse 11, that I do not desire the death of the wicked man, but rather I desire that the wicked man may turn from his evil way and live. And therefore, we may be righteous or sinners. In both the cases, our God is there with us to defend us, to protect us, and to save us from the grasp of sin and evil and Satan. Let us now recall all our sins and failures and thank the Lord for always being there with us in our righteousness as well as in our weaknesses. At the same time, let us ask His grace that He may worthily partake in this Holy Eucharist. With a humble and contrite heart, we now say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I have blessed me the ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for, for me, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy on us all. Lord, Let us pray. Let us place all our intentions before the Lord. O God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. Susanna was condemned to death by the whole assembly. She cried out 
as loud as she could. Eternal God, you know my secrets and everything before it happens. You know that they have given false evidence against me. And now have I to die, innocent as I am of everything their malice has invented against me? The Lord heard her cry as he was being led away to die. He aroused the Holy Spirit residing in the young boy named Daniel, who began to shout, I am innocent of this woman's death, at which all the people turned to him and asked, What do you mean by these words? Standing in the middle of the crowd, he replied, Are you so stupid, sons of Israel, as to condemn a daughter of Israel unheard and without troubling to find out the truth? Go back to the scene of the trial. These men have given false evidence against her. All the people hurried back and the elders said to Daniel, Come and sit with us and tell us what you mean, since God has given you the gift that elders have. Daniel said, Keep these men well apart from each other, for I want to question them. When the men had been separated, Daniel had one of them brought to him. You have grown old in wickedness, he said, and now the sins of your earlier days have overtaken you. You with your unjust judgments, your condemnation of the innocent, your acquittal of guilty men, when the Lord had said, you must not put the innocent and the just to death. Now then, since you saw her so clearly, tell me what tree you saw them lying under. He replied, under a mastic tree. Daniel said, true enough, your lie recoil on your own head. The angel of God has already received your sentence from him and will slash you in half. He dismissed the man and ordered the other to be brought and said to him, Spawn of Cana, not of Judah. Beauty has seduced you. Lust has led your heart astray. This is how you have been behaving with the daughters of Israel, and they were too frightened to resist. But here is the daughter of Judah, who could not stomach your wickedness. Now then, tell me what tree you surprised them under. He replied, under the holm oak. Daniel said, true enough. Your lie recoils on your own head. The angel of God is waiting and a sword to drive home and split you and destroy the pair of you. Then the whole assembly shouted, Blessing God, the Savior of those who trust in him. And they turned on the two elders whom Daniel had convicted of false evidence out of their own mouths. As prescribed in the law of Moses, they sentenced them to the same punishment as they had intended to inflict on their neighbor. They put them to death. The life of an innocent woman was spared that day.
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalms, if I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. Let's say together. If, if I, I should walk, walk in the, the valley, valley of, of darkness, darkness, no evil would I fear. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near as full waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. Response. If, if I, I should, should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. Response. If, if I, I should, should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. Response. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. Response. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. Let's all rise for the gospel. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now is the favorable time. This is the day of salvation. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory be to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. At daybreak he appeared in the temple again. And as all the people came to him, he sat down and began to teach them. The scribes and Pharisees brought a woman along who had been caught committing adultery. And making her stand there in full view of everybody, they said to Jesus, Master, this woman was caught in the very act of committing adultery, and Moses has ordered us in the law to condemn women like this to death by stoning. What have you to say? They asked him this at his test, looking for something to use against him. But Jesus bent down and started writing on the ground with his finger. As they persisted with their question, he looked up and said, If there is one of you who has not sinned, let him be the first to throw a stone at her. Then he bent down and wrote on the ground again. When they heard this, they went away one by one, beginning with the eldest, until Jesus was left alone with the woman, who remained standing there. He looked up and said, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? No one, sir, she replied. Neither do I condemn you, said Jesus. Go away and don't sin anymore. The Gospel of the Law. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We offer you, O Lord Divine, a humble gift of bread and wine. We place them on your altar, Lord, today. Make them worthy. 
Send your blessings from above. Sanctify this gift, O Lord, we pray. O take our hearts, take our minds, take all we have, make them thine, O Lord. Take Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you, as the fruit of bodily penance, a joyful purity of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, holy God of hosts, glory fills the heavens through. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death and profess your resurrection till you come again until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, a bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, gracious our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us see his command and form by divine teaching. We dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will, will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and save from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. With the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, be with you always. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now offer each other the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb, Lord, Lord, are not worthy, that you shall enter under my roof, but, but only is in the world, and my, my soul shall, shall be healed. healed.
Let us pray. Strengthened by the blessing of your sacraments, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our faults, and by following Christ, hasten our steps upward toward you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Jubilee Prayer. Father in may heaven, heaven, may the faith you have given us in your Son, Jesus, Jesus Christ, our brother, brother, and the flame, and the flame of, of charity and kindled in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Be awaken in us the blessed hope for the coming of your kingdom. May your grace transform us into tireless cultivators of the seeds of the gospel. May those seeds transform from within both humanity and the whole cosmos in the sure expectation of a new heaven and a new earth, when with the powers of evil vanquished, 
your glory will shine eternally. May the grace of the Jubilee reawaken in us pilgrims of hope, a yearning for the treasures of heaven. May the same grace spread the joy and peace of our Redeemer throughout the earth. You are God eternally blessed. We glory and praise forever. Amen. Draws erected above the world, draws of our Savior King. O cross erected above the world, draws of our Savior King. Born from which gush the waters, straight from the wound in his side. Along with your loving son, bless O Mary, everyone. The Stations of the Cross The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. O Jesus, so meek and uncomplaining, Teach me resignation in trials. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on, on us. The second station. Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. My Jesus, this cross should be mine, not thine. My sins have crucified thee. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. O Jesus, by this first fall, never let me fall into mortal sin. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on, on us. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. O Jesus, may no human tie, however, dear, keep me from following the road of thy cross. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on, on us. The fifth station. Simon the Cyrenian helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. Simon unwillingly assisted thee. May I, with patience, suffer all for love of thee, my Lord. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. O Jesus, thou didst imprint thy sacred face upon Veronica's veil. Stamp it also indelibly upon my heart. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. By thy second fall, preserve me, dear Lord, from relapse into sin. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. The eighth station. Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your, your holy cross, cross you have redeemed, redeemed the world. My greatest consolation would be to hear thee say, Many are the sins forgiven thee, because... Thou hast loved much. 
Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The ninth station. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. O Jesus, when weary upon life's long journey, be thou my strength and my perseverance. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My soul has been robed of its innocence. Clothe me, dear Jesus, with the garb of penance and contrition. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Thou didst forgive thy enemies. My God, teach me to forgive injuries and forget them. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, have mercy, mercy on, on us. The twelfth station. Jesus died on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your, your holy cross, cross you have redeemed the world. Thou art dying, my Jesus, but thy sacred heart still throbs with love for thy sinful children. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, have mercy on us. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you, you have redeemed the world. Receive me into thy arms, O sorrowful mother, and obtain for me perfect contrition for my sins. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you, you have redeemed the world. When I receive thee into my heart in holy communion, O Jesus, make it a fitting place for thy adorable body. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. One Our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory be for the intentions of the Holy Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, World without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Prayer to Saint Michael Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be a protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.
prayer to Saint Michael.